Hey guys, my name is Brandon Robles and today I want to talk to you about how to navigate through the Amazon seller app, how to check your orders and how to see how much sales you got that day. All right guys, uh, number one on our list is how to check units sold for that day, how to see your revenue per month, per year, you know? So I'm gonna start screen recording right here and we're gonna kinda do it live and I'll probably post it somewhere next to my face right here. So here we go. So uh, the Amazon seller app, it's black. You see it has a little like Amazon seller tag. It's one of my favorite symbols uh, to click on. It's kind of exciting. You never know what you're gonna see on there. Uh, so we're gonna go on here. And so it's gonna be a basic layout. It's gonna show you your sales per day, how many units you've sold. So on the right side, you can see uh, like your time. You can see, you know, last seven days, the last 30 days. So we'll use last 12 months here, for example. And on the left, you're gonna see units sold. So that's how many units you've actually sold individually. So you can click here and actually go to product sales, which is your revenue. You can do that for the last 12 months, the last 30 days. Um, it'll kind of show a percentage of like your previous 30 days, you're up 2% in total sales, and you're actually up 4% in revenue. So that's kind of cool about that. You can kind of see all your metrics. Each bar graph you can see here, you know, like that's 12 uh, units sold, that's 10 units sold, you know, per day. You know, units, like I had a $200 day, probably like $140 or $150 day. So it's really fun to kind of look at that stuff. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you click that app, you have no idea what you're about to see. Really high day, it could be really low day, you don't know. Number two on our list is basically how to manage orders from the app. So if you scroll down, you can see a couple things. We'll get to add a product in a second. But um, you click manage orders and you can see, you know, what kind of, how many sales you've gotten that day and which sales you've got. So I saw a little $10 book, $7 book, and a $9 book today. Um, but you can click into that, kind of get more information about it. You can see that it's actually Amazon fulfilled. If this was FBM, which is fulfilled by merchant, that's basically I have to ship it. So it'll say unshipped and you'll go onto your web browser on your computer. You'll fulfill that, which I'll show in another video. So that's how you can tell Amazon fulfilled. I didn't have to worry about it. Amazon packed and shipped it for me. I can just kind of see a little money roll in. Not big sales, but rather slow day to day, but that's okay. All right, and number three on your list, you can actually see, you know, like manage returns. You can click in here. You can kind of see all the returns you've had for various reasons, whether if it was for if someone just didn't want it or it was actually like damage in the process of getting it to the customer. Any reason, you can kind of manage it from there. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff I, I personally don't use a lot, but you can. You can manage case logs for a case you set up if something doesn't seem right with something in storage. You know, there's a bunch of stuff in here, inventory alerts. Manage inventory, which is you can see all your inventory live right now, how many units you have of one product, the prices for them, and then manage FBA shipments. So if I just sent out a shipment, it'll show in transit, right? And it'll kind of show it's checked in at the post office, it's on its way to the warehouse, or it's checked in at the warehouse and it's re they're receiving your units. All right, and number four is how to source using the Amazon Seller app. You can actually take this app, and if you see on the top right is a little camera icon. You can click that and it'll show this camera, right? And I'll just have some example books here that I'm gonna show for you guys. You just kinda scan the barcode, lift it over, scan the barcode, and a bunch of listings will show up. And uh, you have to make sure that you find the right listing for that book. This one is the 12th SS, World War II book, right? Cool thing about this is it'll show you at the top left, it'll be a 1.6 million sales rank, which I will be getting into sales rank deeper in another video, trust me. I'll have that all explained for you guys. It's selling for $134. If you look at, you know, like the calculations, $134.99, it'll go, $27 would go to Amazon for FBA fees. That's them storing the product, sh um, packing it, and shipping it to the customer. So that's their fulfillment fees. And then you basically gross with $107.52. So you can kind of see, like if for example, is a selling eligibility. Um, you click on that. It basically shows all the things that you can sell it in, which is new, use, like new, use very good, and so on. The only thing you cannot sell books in is refurbished. So you're gonna be doing either acceptable, good, very good, like new, or new. I'm gonna show another book for you guys here. Here you just scan the barcode. If you want to, you can actually click it, right? And this cool thing about the Amazon seller app, it'll actually read, the, all right, and you're gonna go, this is not a mass market, this is a just regular paperback. All right, this is an example for an FBM book that I would do. It has a 30,000 sales rank, as you can see on the top left. 
Um, just a little explanation. I'll touch on another video, like I said. But basically, the Amazon book category has 62 million books. This 30,000 sales rank book will sell like this. If you look on the bottom, you can kind of see non-Amazon. You can see FBA offers at 1334. And you can see used offers at 1098. So used offers are going to be people selling from home or selling, you know, packaging up themselves. So with this 30,000 sales rank, I can go in there and probably price it, you know, with shipping probably like eight or nine dollars and price lowest if I want and probably get this sale within the next day or two, maybe within even hours. That's the power of like FBM. So that's another book there. And then once again, you just click the right and then you can scan it again. It'll scan for you. This one, hardcover, elements of style. It looks almost like new condition. It has a 1,000 sales rank, so you go ahead and click in it. Make sure it's the right book, which it is. And this has 1,000 sales rank, so this thing is selling like crazy. I mean, probably like hundreds of books a day. You know, just insane, right? And this is a perfect example of FBM. You can see here that is selling for $25. Amazon is taking out $11.11 .11 fees and you're profiting $14.85. But that's FBA. If you click that little arrow right to the right of the prices or like the uh, $25, 11 and 14, you click that and it'll show Amazon fulfilled $25 to show you the breakdown, you'll profit $14. Or you go to seller fulfilled and you can sell it for $21 plus $3.99 shipping and you profit a whole $20 off of that. So like I said, I spent $50 for all those books. I could profit $20 here, $10 here, and a hundred and something dollars right here. And that's three books out of all the books I've gotten. So um, it's pretty cool that you can do that. And the cool thing is about these two books, the two FBMs I'm talking about right here, with the low sales ranks, I can get that within hours or even like a day or two. I can get that money back within hours and I still have more FBMs I can list in there. And then these books right here, the big hitters, the ones that'll take a little longer to sell, but I can get these, you know, start selling and that's just complete profit right there. So I really like doing a little of both. Um, just the quick return for these and then kind of save these for FBA, you know, they might sell couple weeks, it might take a month or maybe even two, but I will be getting a hundred dollars for this book right here. So it's 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 kind of a game how fast you can get your money back for some or how long you're willing to wait for um, a book to sell, but for a bigger profit. All right, and for number five, we're actually gonna kind of jump off of that and show you how to actually list from your phone, like the FBM I'm talking about, listing from home, packing and shipping yourself. So we're gonna take that same book, The Elements of Style, since that one will sell I mean, within probably hours, click on it. Like I said, you can decide, you know, all right, so it's selling for $25 FBA, or I can go into Seller Fulfilled, and I can list it for $21 plus $3.99 and profit $20 within hours, rather than have to wait a couple weeks for it to get into the warehouse, they get them on the shelves, it'll go live. Um, I can just list it from home really quick, put it in an envelope and get it out of here to the customer. So at the bottom right here, you're gonna see it shows list. So you go ahead and just click list. Um, so right here, it'll show condition. I'm probably gonna put mine as, I'll go safe with very good. You don't want to overestimate your book's condition. You wanna underestimate it. So it's actually really good. I mean, the pages are bright and crisp, um, barely any shelf wear, slightly on the spine, but not too bad at all. You know, but I mean, bright and crisp, really good condition book. Um, so I'll probably go with like new for this one and make sure to pack it up nice and safe for the customer when it sells. But uh, I'll go like new. And I'll put a little description like this book is in like new condition. Something like the pages are bright and crisp. No highlighting. Markings or writing. Your satisfaction guaranteed, okay? Make sure it's spelled right, okay. And then for the quantity, you wanna put one because I only have one book, but if you're selling like some video games or some toys, you can change the quantity there. You might have like four or five of them. You can have that listed right there so that way if one sells, the listing will remain active with four or more products available. All right, and the next thing right here is you can actually take a picture of your product, book, game, whatever, and actually upload it. It'll look good because some people will just see the description or some people will only put the description and it'll really make your listing pop because they're gonna be a whole bunch of different people uh, listing, you know, whatever their name is and then the description. 
But with this, you can have a picture, it'll kind of draw their eye to it, make them, oh, okay, like new, look at this, I, I can actually see the physical book. Okay, I might buy that one. But for now, since this sales rank is so low, I'm actually going to skip that, and I'm gonna go straight to the price. That's gonna be with the uh, shipping, $3.99, that is already implemented for me there. And you're gonna to go to continue. It's literally gonna say, are you sure this information is correct? Submit your listing. And there you go, return to home. Now you're back to the home screen. That item is listed. It'll probably, it'll get an email probably on here sometime like you know, within the next couple seconds saying your item has been listed, it's ready to go, and now it is available to people to purchase. That's what's really cool about the FBM. You don't have to wait for two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks for an item to get on the shelf. So that's kind of the rundown of the Amazon seller app. That's how I use it. I'm sure there's other cool features in here I haven't really used, but that's how I take advantage of it. It's the basics. It's just really useful. I mean, you cannot run this business without this app, especially if you want to look deeper into looking at your books. Like if you have that Scoutly or whatever scanning app you use, I usually take this, this app to double check that. So it'll cha-ching, cha-ching, all you want with the barcode scanner, but I'd use this app to make sure that this is the right book, this is the right edition, whatever it is, the prices are correct. I'll scan the front just to make sure that you know there's not any other kind of listings, lower sales ranks, whatever it is. But yeah, so that's the kind of the rundown with the Amazon seller app. I mentioned the last video for free. It is completely for free. You can download it on your phone right now. Yeah, I would just get it on there and just if you have books around the house or some games, just start scanning and kind of getting used to the interface. Hopefully that'll help you guys. Um, hopefully I kind of motivated you to download that app and kind of get started. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. If you guys like the video, go ahead and drop a like. Or if you guys have any suggestions about new videos, make sure to leave a comment. Also guys, uh, if you'd like to hit me up at Instagram, if you have any questions as well, I'll respond on there. Um, it is at the Brandon Robles. Have a great day.